Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I have some really exciting news for you today, and it's about the new game that Ken and Roberta Williams of Sierra Online have been working on for the last year or so. And if you remember, I had Ken on this channel not too long ago, and I played Space Quest with Marcus Mero, who's also working on the game, and we talked a little bit about the game, what it's going to be, and at that point we had said that it's probably going to be a remake of a classic game, and we th I thought assumed it must be a classic Sierra game. And it turns out it's not a classic Sierra game. It's even more classic than that. It's a game, one of the games that inspired Sierra, and that's the classic Colossal Cave Adventure, also known as uh, Microsoft Adventure, because they published it. It has a lot of different names, but it was made in, like, 75 for mainframes by uh, Willie Crowther and um, also uh, Don Woods. And that's one of the games that actually inspired um, Roberta Williams to create Mystery House, and it's one of the games that inspired Scott Adams to create his adventures, and it's really just not the first adventure game necessarily, but it was definitely the first that actually made a big impact and inspired, you know, all the others out there, Zork, etc., etc. So the new game apparently is going to be called a Colossal Cave 3D Adventure, and I'm really excited to get some information about it and be able to talk about it on this video. There's going to be a lot of more interesting information in the video, so make sure you watch till the end. But before you do that, please you know, like the video if you like it, and please make sure you subscribe to the channel, including the notification button so you can not be notified when I make more videos like this. I've been trying to do a lot of live streams lately, and those are a lot of fun. I'm going to do more of those, but also I'll do more videos, and obviously this news inspired me to do a video today. So... Uh, with all that out of the way, please make sure uh, you keep on watching, and uh, let's get down to the rest of the details. All right, well, here I have a copy of uh, Microsoft Adventure for TRS-80, and I played this on my channel recently, and that's what you can see going on the side of the screen there is, is a playthrough of the game um, from, from the live stream. And actually, Marcus Mara was on that live stream, and uh, I was really surprised at the time how much he knew about the game. And uh, I was like, wow, he's even more hardcore than I realized. Because he was telling me exactly what to do. Go here, go there, go there, press this, kill this guy, pick up this axe. But uh, obviously he knew something I didn't, which is that uh, this is going to be the uh, the template, I guess, for uh, the new game that uh, Ken and Roberta Williams are making along with Marcus. So again, um, this is Microsoft Adventure, which Microsoft basically published this for the PC this is the TRS-80 version, as you can see here, but uh, there was also a version for the IBM PC and, and Apple and other, other platforms. Uh, here's my my disc for Mystery House, um, which was the first game by Roberta Williams. This is not the first uh, release of it, but this is an early release. And uh, this game was directly inspired by this game, Colossal Cave. Uh, that's what it was called on mainframes, um, Colossal Cave or just Adventure. And uh, it was created, like I said, in the 70s by uh, Willie Crowther and Don Woods. And it was spread all over the, the early internet at the time, uh, the ARPANET, I guess. And everybody was playing it, having a good time. And it got into the hands of such folks like Scott Adams and also like Roberta Williams. And she played this and she's like, wow, this game is a lot of fun. You know, I get to type commands and the person will actually do what I'm trying to do here. I want to make a game like it, but I want to make a game with graphics. And that's how Mystery House was born. And that's what led to all the other um, Sierra Online adventures, especially, you know, King's Quest and all the other games that Roberta put together. Uh, the Colonel's Bequest, eventually Phantasmagoria, and, and all the other games that were, pu that were published by Sierra that uh, were written by other folks. So really, um, Colossal Cave is what started it all. That's why it really makes sense for uh, for them to remake this. I mean, it's in the public domain as far as I know. There's been lots of different versions of it. It's not really owned by anybody. Um, even the original developer, Willie Crowther, he was a caver um, who explored um, Mammoth Cave in Kentucky, which is really the colossal cave system. And um, he made a game, which was basically an exploration of the cave and throwing in some fantasy elements. And then another guy, Don Woods, from another place, I think he was at Stanford, if I'm not mistaken, um, he took the game and expanded on it and added some more treasures and more rooms and a point system and stuff like that. So the game itself is not owned by any one person. And as far as I know, it's in the public domain and therefore anybody can theoretically do whatever they want with it. And that's how, uh, you know, Ken and Roberta and Marcus and Cygnus Entertainment have picked this up and, and are creating the, the 3D version, which is which is super exciting. I remember when uh, Return to Zork came out and they, made it, they had a 3D version of the Zork White House and I saw it for the first time. I was blown away. And I'm similarly blown away by some of the things I've seen from this game, and I'll and I'll show some of the graphics that they that they've that they've released um, in this video. They're they're pre-alpha graphics, just to note that. So they're they're definitely subject to, to a lot of change. Before I go to the graphics, um, just some of the stuff that they've released in terms of, of text. 
a lot of the stuff is is uh, is already known. Um, but uh, let's see, if there's anything in the in the press release or anything that's 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 new. It's a completely immersive 3D world, first person 3D adventure. Understanding is it will be an adventure game. It's not really they took Colossal Cave and turned it into some other type of game. Although it did have role playing elements, there was fi- there was combat in it, but it's not going to be like a fighting game. It's going to be a, a pure adventure. There's going to be a VR version for the for the Quest Two. I don't know if it's called the Oculus Quest Two anymore, the Meta Quest Two, whatever it's called. There's going to be a VR version. The game is developed in Unity. Um, Ken apparently checked out Unity and also Unreal, and he decided that Unity is is the more Interesting engine for him, at least, because there's better training for it. And apparently, um, actually, at the, at the GDC, the Game Developers Convention, which I believe is, is going on now, uh, you can find a demo of this at the the Unity booth. Um, if you could, uh, Maybe Ken or Roberta might be there as well, so you may want to check that out if you're actually at GDC. And, uh, yeah, the, apparently the VR version is really good. Um, it looks really interesting. Um, and uh, definitely just by the graphics, I, can, I can't even imagine the thought of going in the cave and, and exploring. One thing I'm, 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 I guess, curious about is how... I've been to Colossal Cave. I've been to Mammoth Cave in Kentucky, and it's it's amazing. It's awesome. Uh, I went there with my daughter a few years ago. I wonder um, how faithful the cave that they've put together in the game is to the actual real cave. Do they actually go check out the real specs, or do they basically just do it based on the descriptions of the game. I'm wondering that. Hopefully a little bit of, you know, they checked out the real cave, but regardless, it looks it looks really good. Uh, what else is there here to, to, to talk about before we get to the, the pictures? I guess uh, this came about for, partially because of the pandemic. Um, they were locked down. They're trying to figure out something to do. Ken then wrote a book. Uh, by the way, I have a, cop, a couple of copies of that book to give away. I need to do another video at some point soon um, with a uh, giveaway for that. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you, so you, so you pick up on that. At least, I at least have one copy that's signed by Ken Williams to give away to somebody on this channel. And uh, I think that's mostly it um, in terms of you know information about the game. Um, obviously, let's, let's take a look and see what we see here. So there's a couple of really interesting uh, screenshots uh, first of all, you know the game starts off, and this first one here is where the game starts off with. Uh, it says you're outside a building, and then when you go into the building, there's a bunch of stuff in there. There's a there's a lamp, and there's keys, and there's food, and you take all that into the into the dungeon with you. And so this is a, a shot of you know the outside of that 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 house, I believe, or not a house, but like a shack, whatever it is. Um, so that's really you know beautiful uh scenery and you know you can imagine actually being there in, in kentucky <laughs> or, or wherever the you know the middle earth version of kentucky is i guess the second screenshot they put together again this is all pre-alpha is the bird if you play the game you know that you know pretty soon when you get to the cave you discover oh, there's a cage or there's a bird and uh, you actually need the bird to uh spoilers i'm sorry you need the bird to like scare away a monster which I'm not sure how a bird does that, but I guess you're just like a mouse can scare an elephant, theoretically. Um, you need the bird to scare away a monster, and uh, you, you can't get it because um, you, when you, this, the room before you pick up like a star, or a rod with a star at the end, and apparently that scares the bird. So if you try to take the bird when you have the star, the rod, it doesn't work. You have to get rid of the rod first. It's actually in the hints they give you the beginning of the game, but like when I was a kid, I was like confused by that, I remember. But there's the bird, and it uh, looks pretty uh, pretty cute. Um, this is a screenshot of the dragon, um, and that's actually on the cover of the game in the the TRS-80 and the Apple version. So, this is the subject of uh, you know some interesting stuff. When I played this game, you get to this dragon and you're like, "What are you supposed to do?" And you type "kill dragon," uh, and then it says, "What with your bare hands?" And then I mean, my dad didn't know what to do, so we just we just gave up. We never were able to get further at that point, at least. And so I'm not, well, I'm not going to give the puzzle away right now in case someone wants to play this game. I will tell you when I found out the answer later on, I was pretty annoyed because uh, it's a pretty clever puzzle, actually, but not something you would expect. Um, and since then, you know, other games have done it again, obviously over again, but it's it's pretty interesting. Just take my word for it. When you find out how to do that, if you haven't done it before, you'll be pretty surprised. It's definitely a good, uh, good picture of that dragon. And... Uh, there's also some video that they released as part of this, and I, I want to go do the video. I'm gonna there's there's a couple of videos they put out for for publicity. Uh, one is uh, like a four minute video that uh, talks about the history of Sierra and all that. I'm not gonna do that one because I think most people who are watching this know the history of Sierra, and if not, you can watch it offline. What I wanted to do is is play the uh, 
the, the 60 second version, which I stretched out at the time, so it's actually three minutes. So I stretch it out like almost three times the length. This way I can watch it and we can comment on it. So let's do that right now. Uh, let me get the video started. And the first of all, you see it says, I think that's invent was the name of the file on the mainframe computer. So you had to type in invent to get it to start. And it says, this is trying to simulate like a, an old, uh, you know, CRT. Somewhere nearby is Colossal Cave. That's like the old, uh, that's that how the text started. That's why it was called Colossal Cave. And this is going to be Colossal Cave, not Colossal Cave Adventure, but Colossal Cave 3D Adventure. Maybe I slowed it down a little too much. There we go. And this is the initial text when you first start. You're standing at the end of the road before a small uh, brick building. That's the the, pic, the building we showed we showed in the, in the, in the image. And I think now in the video you'll get to see it a little more. I slowed it down on purpose because it's just where so you can see the detail. So there's the building. There's a 3D. We're moving towards it. It looks really cool. Now we're inside the cave with some crystals, I guess. Now we're on the outside again, uh, looking at the before you get into the cave. Now back in the cave, I guess approaching the chamber with the bird, gets crawling through a narrow crawl, and obviously the game is from Roberta Williams and also Ken Williams. But Ken was, was always more of the technology guy, and Roberta was the, the the creative person, creator of King's Quest. That's that's from the King's Quest Six box, which is my, one of my favorite games of all time. Phantasmagoria, which I I never played unfortunately. I didn't play it. <laughs> the Colonel's Bequest. Uh, and, and lots of others. I have the Roberta Williams Anthology, which is all the games she put together. Another section of Cave, you know, going through it. A lot of support. This is like a, more like a mine than a cave. And here we have Colossal Cave Adventure, and now they move aside to show 3D Adventure, so pretty cool. I mean, all these graphics look really nice. Enter a World of Adventure. This is where the dragon is. Yeah, there's a dragon. Look at that. The dragon, like, moving around. Again, these are all pre-alpha graphics. But uh, look at that. I don't think I would... Me well, it looks like he fell. <laughs> I wouldn't mess with that dragon, though. For computers and VR. And the VR, I guess, is a big selling point. And we get this, this the stock footage, I guess, of this guy playing played some, some game in VR. I, I've done that before on my channel as well. With the, I have the PSVR. And then here's the uh, the, the iconic lamp. Uh, from, he's getting the lamp. He's looking at the lamp. So, okay, so you see the icons, like Sierra-style icons there. And then he picked up the lamp. So I guess you get to walk around this world in fully, like it says, fully immersive 3D and, like you know, like in real mist, essentially, is what I'm thinking of. And then you can actually interact with it. So it looks pretty awesome. Um, I mean, uh, I don't know what else to say about it. It says Oculus, I guess it's called Oculus Quest, I'm not sure. But obviously, this, you know, it's not all done. There's a lot of work to do. It's supposed to be released this year, though, in 2022. For Quest, Windows, and Macintosh is coming 2022. And uh, that is pretty much the, the, the trailer there. So it looks super exciting. There's also a frequently asked questions document, um, but not too much in it. Um, why Colossal Cave? Just, you know, as, as they're they, as they playing with the game again, the Understand Why it's become such a monster hit. It's certainly an adventure game, but it also has action elements, humor, cute and fun characters, it's scary in places, it's a point system. And is incredibly challenging. So, yeah, I guess uh, we'll have the opportunity, hopefully come summer, if the timeline stays uh, according to plan here, to check out Colossal Cave again, this time in uh, in 3D, in potentially in VR, if you have that right headset. And uh, regardless, in a fully immersive world with graphics, I mean, just by itself, that's pretty awesome. There have been some, aver there's, there have been some versions of the game with graphics in the past. Level 9 put out a version, I think, called Dungeon Quest, but it was all just static graphics, you know, pixelated graphics, nothing like what's going on here. So if this is done right, then it's going to be amazing. And, like, almost like how could it not be done right with Ken and Roberta Williams behind, you know, behind the helm? Like, so this is uh, this is pretty exciting. So anyway, um, please, uh, you know, feel free to leave some comments. Let me know what you think of this and let me know if you're excited about it. As I mentioned, there will be a giveaway at some point soon of Ken's book, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit the notification icon so you're notified of new videos, and uh, again, leave some comments, let me know what you think, and I will try to pass along the comments to uh, Ken and Roberta and Marcus and the other developers, and uh, definitely looking forward to playing this game, so thanks everybody, and uh, see you again soon. Peace out.